Hey, my name is Peter Paul and this is my favorite story about self-worth. So what if I offered you $100? Would you take it? What about this? What if I took the $100 and then I crumpled it up? Would you still want it? You probably would because it's still worth $100. How about this? What if I put the money on the ground and stepped on it? Would you still want it? Probably because it's still worth $100. And what if I took the money and then I put some dirt on it? Now it's dirty but would you still want it? Probably, yeah, because it is still worth $100. You see, no matter what I do with this bill, it doesn't lose its value. It will always be worth $100. It doesn't matter if it's crumpled up, if it's stepped on, or even if it gets dirty. It will never lose its value. And just like me and you, there will be times where we feel crumpled up, where we feel stepped on, or even worthless. But no matter what happens to us, we are still valuable, especially to those that love us. So next time you see a $100 bill, just remind yourself that this will never lose its value and you and I will never lose our value. So that story is an original. It was actually done with a $20 bill. But when I first heard it, I just, I kind of fell in love with that idea and I just accepted it. But recently I've been thinking about like what really is self-worth? The dictionary defines it as someone's sense of value. Therefore, only we can decide what that is. But the trouble is, we have a history of making bad decisions when it comes to self-worth because number one, we have a tendency of letting others dictate our self-worth. We allow other people's opinions to decide how valuable we are, whether it's verbally, what they say to us, or their actions, how they treat us. Or worse, on the internet, how much do they engage with the stuff we post? I mean, isn't that how we treat others too? One day, they're super important to us, and then the next day, maybe not so much. And secondly, we mix up what value even is. You know, is someone valuable because they have a lot of money or because they have contributed a lot to humanity? Or are they valuable because they can make us laugh or entertain us? Or maybe it's the size of their influence. Is that it then? Money, contribution, entertainment, and influence? Is that really where value is created? So here's a question. What if those people lost their money or stopped contributing? or stop entertaining us, or the size of their followers went down. Does that mean that they lose their value? How many times have we put someone up on a pedestal only to bring them down? Look at Vincent van Gogh. He only sold a couple paintings while he was alive. And it was only years after he died did society say, maybe this guy doesn't suck. Society's idea of worth is always changing. So maybe it's not the best place to reference what we should be worth. Personally, even during the day, my self-worth changes. Some hours I feel great, and some hours I don't. Isn't that kind of messy? And that's why I love the uh, paper bill story. It's just so simple. $100 is worth $100. It doesn't matter who's holding it, what condition it's in, or where it's been. Its value never changes. What if that's how we should treat our value? Never changing. Because if we use logic or worse society's logic, then our value always changes and it doesn't really make any sense. So what if we didn't use logic? What if we mattered, we are valuable just because? We are valuable because we are valuable. Now, in my opinion, I believe self-worth has been decided the minute you were born. One life is priceless, period. If you believe in God, then you are worthy because God loves you. And if you don't believe in God, then you're worthy just because you are. And that's enough. It doesn't have to make sense, does it? So if you're struggling with self-worth, just hold up a paper bill and remind yourself that it is valuable just because it is. And you are valuable just because. I'm Peter Paul and I'll see you in the next one. You see, Society is, you see, say, you see, society is, know that it's value. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry.